got Nastia here. Are you a country music yes. fan? Yes, I mean, obviously, I like Texas is my home. Um, I've been, Texas was like, like two to 22, took a 10 year break, and I've been back for about like four years. So yeah, I grew up listening to country music and like just to, honestly, from, you know, being an athlete, I feel like that's always like a type of artistry, you know? And yeah. so I think it's like very, like, I just have so much respect for all the artists and I think you know how much hard work goes into your craft. And so being an artist, being an athlete, you just appreciate it and you um, respect, like there's so much mutual respect. Yes, absolutely. So who is in your holy grail of country music artists? Oh my God. Um, I feel like, like, an, like OG, like at least in my generation, Carrie Underwood, like I feel like I um, grew up, not grew up, but I feel like because we're similar, similar age, but um, and then Kelsey Bellarini, I feel like is like my current go-to, um, just like relatable queen. So yeah, yeah, big fan. And the queen, Dolly Parton, is going to oh be God, on stage yeah, tonight. How hosting. could I even forget? No, I'm like, it's all good. Not even like just like iconic. Um, Have you ever crossed paths with her? No, with never. No, but just okay. honored to be in the same room as her. And um, I held the Nasty Lukin Cup here in the same exact venue uh, a year ago. And so just to be able to be here with so many like iconic musicians and the icon of all icons, Dolly Parton. Um, I'm, yeah, very honored. Can we talk about your fashion? This is incredible. Thank you. Who is behind this dress? Um, Laquan Smith and then Tom Ford Heels. And I kind of like did, not a DIY essentially, but you know, like being an, a gymnast and being a little shorter, yeah. the sleeves are a little long. So I had my um, tailor made some like thumb holes in it. I love it. He approves, but we I'm love like, a thumb hole. Why do thumb holes feel so good? It just feels like it's like a it's like a big like blanket, it's like you a know, hug for your palm. A hundred percent. And then yeah. these little side boob cutouts, so sexy. You know, you can't really do this in a leotard, so it's like, <laughs> why not just do it here? We've got a quick little game that I would love to play with you. It's called Yeehaw or Hell Nah. Okay. okay. So you're gonna take this. And I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions, okay. and you just give us a yeehaw or a hell nah. Okay. Kissing on the first date. Ooh. Yeah. Only because it worked out for me. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any secret tattoos? Um. No, I don't have any tattoos. I'm the only one of my whole Olympic team that didn't get the rings. Okay. Like, I respect it, I'm just not for it. I, I, it's just not for me. Yeah, so yeah. totally, I respect it. I don't have any either, yeah. so I'm with you. Okay, last one. Have you ever used your significant other's toothbrush? <laughs> Thank you. I will use like my finger with toothpaste before yeah. I use that. I've gotten some some really disturbing answers to that yeah, question. No, it's not for me. Like literally, it's not even like I'm like a Paul. Like no, it's not for me.